Dillman under center. Man motion to the near side and a toss to him as he swerves his way past the 40, breaks to the outside, 30, and then stumbles forward inside the 30-yard line. That's Patrick Mealy, the junior from Hyattsville, Maryland. And Mooney a, a year ago was simply phenomenal in rushing for 229 yards. Here's a toss, right side, Mealy looking for the end zone, and he's got it. Army draws first blood in 2009 with a Patrick Mealy dive in along the near sideline. Yeah, moving the chains, uh, Ron English first three plays, he comes out, they run it this time, they come out in the first two in the second series, they throw. Stone last year led this team with 88 catches, first and 10, play action, Schmidt steps up into the pocket, going long, down the seam, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Army, Donovan Travis, who had two picks a year ago, has a wall, left side, 45-50, EMU 45-40, and then Dwayne Priest rides him down at about the 35-yard line. A 50-yard return after the pick from Donovan Travis. Third down and seven now for Army. Last year, a 38% conversion rate. Man in motion to the near side, and Steelman is wrapped up. Brandon Downs, a great job. Speaking of Johnny Sear, let's go down to Brian Nemirovsky. Brian? Yeah, one of several interesting stories on this Eastern Michigan team, and Ron English not shying away from Johnny Sears' past. He says, I know he was dismissed from the team at Michigan for a violation of team rules. I love Jason Jones in Tennessee, that's for sure. Third down and four ball. The near side has more pressure coming out. Steelman, and down he goes. Brandon Downs tripped him up around the ankles, and number 17 in green has has been a major factor for the EMU defense so far here tonight. 10 for Eastern at their own seven. Fumble on the snap, and I think Army recovered. Could not have started worse for the Eagles. I mean, that's the second or third time that they've had trouble with yep. the exchange. And I, I do believe the Black Knights have it. They do. Unbelievable. Yep. Looking down the goal from the 12. Man comes in motion to the near side and a quick uh -oh. toss to him. There's a kind of lane there and it will be an easy score for the Army Black Knights. Touchdown Army. And a new body in there for the Eagles. Schmidt up. They are the tight end on the left side. Sanders split wide to the left. Corey Stone, same on the right. Lone setback is Dwayne Priest. He gets the call. Right side, shifting his way. Breaking free. 35, 30. Near sideline, 25, 20. Smuggles to the 15. And then out of bounds. Inside the 10-yard line. First big play on the ground for Easter this year. Well, they kept, they kept kind of testing that outside zone. And it looked like the play was broken down. There was penetration on the left, right side of the Eagles' offensive line. But Priest was able to get through that initial wave. They do a nice job just kind of angling to the sidelines, getting down and picking up a nice... Feathers with a 21-yard field goal attempt last year, 10 of 14. Zach Johnson, the holder, Matt Bowman, the long snapper. Low snap, Johnson puts it down, the kick is up, and the kick is no good. He missed it wide right. And a cannon does not recognize the wide right. 15-15 left to go in the game. Eastern driving, Trey Hunter to the right, Stone and Sanders to the left. Sanders is in the slot, ball at the near side hash. Third down and eight for Andy Schmidt out of the gun. Wants to throw for pressure coming. Lofts it for the corner. He wants Hunter, and it's caught! Hunter with an unbelievable grab in the corner of the end zone! And Eastern has their first touchdown of the year! And what a nice job by Andy Schmidt as you doing the throw the ball where only a Trey Hunter could get to it. Hunter did a good job of using his body to shield the defender, and he went up with one hand, pulled it down in, and the Eagles finally get rewarded for their efforts offensively. A nice catch by Trey Hunter making it. So third down and four for Army. They lead by six. 12.05 to go in the ball game. They give to Williams. Nope. They pitch it. Left side. Breaking free. Jamison Carter down the sideline. 50 45. And pushed out of bounds at about the 43 yard line. Point. So it's first and goal from the 10. Left side. Breaks free. So much for that. That was too easy. Yes, sure. Right down the field. So Eastern shows some signs of getting back into this game. They have a third down and four, and they, they ran eight. He was one getting all the yards. I mean, he put up 50 yards almost in that third down and nine. 7.20 remaining. 
with the 21 of Army. A toss near yep. side. Coming up, but sprinting, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 45, 40, 35, 30, 20, 15, 10, and down at the seven yard line, Patrick Mealy. Eagles had early on against Army rushing, We're looking pretty good now. Army almost 300 yards, 275 down. yards. They probably had 150 yards here in the fourth quarter. Down to the five yard line. Oh, motion to your side to get the up that touchdown. Somebody's uh, Ron English. Find out what the character of his team here and the character of his coaching staff. But right now, we got some people hanging some heads down there. The left ball rests at the near side hash. It's 27 7 Army. Schmidt out of the gun, two wide receivers to the left. Hunter is by himself on the right. Man to man coverage there. He looks there. He throws for the corner. Hunter wants it. Got it! And touchdown! Jacory Stone! It was Ja'Cory Stone by himself in man-to-man -man coverage, not Trey Hunter, and Eastern Michigan with their second score of the night. A nice job by Ja'Cory Stone, not only shielding the player, then kind of leaning out, what a great throw outside, but once he made the catch, he was getting pushed out of bounds, he was able to put the ball, he was going out on by the one, stick it ahead, so the ball hit the pylon, he gets credited with the touchdown. Nice drive, you wonder if it's to 20, who knows what happens on a kickoff, there's just too many things that could have happened. Thayer goes in motion, first and goal from the one. Schmidt under center, and he'll give it to Priest, and he will punch it in for a touchdown. Now you're going to see an onside kick after the extra point for the Eagles. Anytime you have a chance to work on your two-minute throw, even if you don't think you're going to win the game. Good point. You yep. need to give yourself an opportunity to practice something that could benefit you down the road. This game is a lost cause, granted. But why not try to get the ball back and give Andy and your offense, your young offensive line, there's a couple of those fellas a chance to improve. Yeah, I've become more of a believer in, in trying to work on certain situations. That would be an ideal situation instead. Army fumbles it. Hmm. Well, it would be nice to have those two and a half minutes after that fumble. And Eastern recovers it. Right, Nemo? Between the, between the hashes, first and ten for the 15. Schmidt out of the shotgun, two wide receivers to his right. Needs to look downfield, and will throw downfield, and it's picked off at the 40-yard line. Josh Jackson up the left sideline to the 15, still on his feet, and run over at the 14-yard line. 20. And time clicks off the clock, and that's it. Army wins it 27-14. They stay unbeaten all time against Eastern Michigan. Now 3-0 against the Eagles. And Rich Ellerson becomes the first coach in Army history to win his debut on the road. Army, for the first time ever, wins a road opener in the history of their program. Brian Nemirovsky. Eastern will try and regroup this week at practice and then get ready for the Wildcats of Northwestern. They play them in Evanston, Illinois, a week from today. 12 o'clock to kick off, 11.45 with our pregame. Hope you can join us then. Now, for my partner, Rob Rubick, Brian Nemirovsky on the sidelines, our statistician and engineer here in the booth, Jeff Fulton, John Patelka, and Nick Hersey back in our WMU studios. My name is Matt Shepard saying so long. Eastern Michigan falls to Army in the opener, 27-14. You've been listening to Eastern Michigan football. Have a great rest of the weekend, everybody. Good night.